disassembly tools, screwdriver with Phillips bit, disassembly tab, ESD tweezers, metal tweezers, vacuum cup, B2B connector removal tool, eject pit, general heating platform, and general TP disassembly fixture. Make sure that the phone is powered off. Check whether the TP has a protective film on it. If no, attach one piece of process protective film to the TP. Turn the phone over to the card tray side and use an eject pin to remove the card tray. Power on the general heating platform and set the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. After the temperature is at a fixed value, place the phone onto the platform to heat the phone for 3 to 5 minutes. Take out the phone, place it onto the general disassembly fixture with the TP facing down. Adjust the phone's position and then tighten the knob. Use the vacuum cup to secure the center of the phone. Use your left hand to hold the vacuum tip and pull the rear cover up. After you open a gap between the rear and front covers, insert the disassembly tab to the gap. Use your right hand to move the tab along both sides of the phone and separate the rear cover. Take the phone out of the disassembly fixture and move the tab counterclockwise. When the edges are all open, use your hand to separate the rear cover from the front cover. Use the ESD tweezers to remove the adhesive from the rear cover and remove the foam from the side button FPC. Use your hand to remove the three pieces of mylar from the rear and front covers. You can use some alcohol to remove the remaining adhesive from the rear cover. from the speaker support, PCBA support, and the corners of the edges. Use electric screwdriver with Phillips bit to remove the 14 screws from the PCBA support and speaker support in sequence. Use the ESD tweezers to remove the graphite sheet from the speaker support. Insert the ESD tweezers to the gap on the right of the PCBA support and then pry up and remove the support. Turn over the support. Use your left hand to hold the support and use your right hand to remove the graphite sheet from the support. to loosen the coaxial cable heads from the PCBA and the subsidiary board. Then remove the coaxial cable from the front cover groove. Use the B2B connector and removal tool to remove the following components in sequence. Battery B2B connector, LCD FBC, fingerprint sensor FBC, side button FBC, and headset jack FBC. Use the ESD tweezers to remove the conductive fabric from the front camera.
use the B2B connector removal tool to disconnect the B2B connectors. Then remove the front camera and headset jack in sequence. Use the ESD tweezers to disconnect the PCBA from the lower right buckle. Then pry up the PCBA from its lower right corner. Use the B2B connector removal tool to disconnect the rear camera B2B connector from the PCBA. Remove the rear camera from top to bottom. Use the ESD tweezers to pry up the speaker. Hold the main FPC and take out the subsidiary board. And use the B2B connector removal tool to disconnect the B2B connector. Use the metal tweezers to pry up the proximity sensor subboard from its lower right corner and then remove it. Disassembly is complete. Thank you for watching.